Hey everybody, welcome back to Phantom Brigade. Uh, I took a little bit of time to try and optimize our gear uh, according to what we have. Uh, the biggest challenge we have right now is um, is heat dissipation. And I don't have any light armor to really increase our heat dissipation. So I've just tried to optimize the best that we could. Uh, let's take a look at our squad here. So our rifle mech, real quick, we've got... Um, We've got the Assault Rifle Burst. We've got a shield here. We've got Medium Torso with a Hollow Plate that's going to reduce our barrier and in integrity, but decrease our mass to try and get some speed back. Uh, we've got Medium Legs here, and then we've got with a Heavy Right Arm, which is a primary weapon arm, with a defensive module for uh, barrier regeneration. I think that's a decent setup there. Now, our Beamer, technically, uh, I would much rather go into a Sniper Rifle here. We have a really solid rifle. Uh, but we, I just want to try the Beamer a little bit more. Um, just based on what we have, I feel like the Sniper would be clearly better. But we're just going to experiment with this a bit. Uh, I've gone all medium stuff. I would like to go light to increase heat dissipation. But I feel like I can just get behind cover and beam through that. And we should be pretty safe. Our machine gun mech. Uh, this is another interesting gun. But uh, we've got the medium torso here with the precision. So it's reducing scatter by 20% on idle and moving, which will happen. Uh, and then medium legs all around because I wanted to keep as much uh, speed as possible. And then lastly, our tank mech, we've gone uh, the semi-automatic shotgun just to try it, see how it feels compared to the other one we were using, the shredder. And uh, we've got the big shield here with, uh, what does it have on it? It's got a couple of things here. The light plate, so it's reducing mass quite a bit, uh, as well as integrity and barrier. But then we have extra integrity coming from the plated perk. Uh, the Nox heavy torso, precision sensor, and uh, the heavy primary arm here with the heat sink for extra heat dissipation. And then just heavy arms and legs to tank, tank, tank. But we are very slow. But we're just our goal is to just like throw ourselves at the enemy here. So, anyways, long-winded intro over. Let's uh, let's rock and roll. This is a hot, pretty high threat level, and this will be a challenge, I think. These exclamations are saying you don't have any secondary weapons. I'm okay with that. Uh, ideally, we maybe have some pistols or we throw in some shields there, but those all come with trade-offs. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, hopefully you don't mind me going through that once in a while because uh, usually we'll just be tweaking builds here and there, but we had a lot happen in the last episode, and I think it was a good opportunity to, to reset and try to get set up in the best way possible. Sierra 2 on the field. What's taking you so long here? Surround them and finish them off. Okay. Okay. If that's how it's going to be. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got a little a little tank. Emphasis on the little. Uh, okay. That's cool. What's your deal? What are you carrying? An unknown cannon. <laughs> nice. And he's actually... He's already set up to just do stuff? That's interesting. He's shooting through that blocked thing for about two-thirds of his attack. Um, okay. Maybe we just let him do that. And I don't, and I don't judge too hard. Okay, first things first. Let's look to my my beamer here. Big big purple, as he likes to be called. Um, I think, honestly, I just need to get into cover somewhere. My, my beam range is not as high as it could be. Where are these guys going to come to? So we got big mech guy running through the middle. I have... So two mechs and a tank coming in that way. A tank and a mech coming in this way. Okay. If I stay here, I'm getting shot at by the tank pretty aggressively, which doesn't seem fun at all. If I just move up to here, it looks like I do have some cover from them. I'll do that for now. And then when this guy reaches optimal range... Then we let that rock and roll. Start beaming. Okay. Now, uh, 
we probably want to deal with these two flankers as quickly as we can. Uh, who's way back here? This is our rifle mech. I'm going to look to dash in there. And I'll, I'll maybe take this rifle mech over here. And then when I get up top... We'll start hitting the tank. This 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 tank that's here right now. He's okay. So he's taking looks like some missile shots from this guy. Man, I would like to get some secondary missile weapons going. That would be that would be excellent. That would be really nice. Uh, I think I kind of just want to throw myself towards the enemies here. If I come to here, and then dash, just to get myself in there. I think I can't do that because it's going over into the next turn, maybe? Above max range. Come on now. Give me something. It's because I'm coming off of a hill, too, I think. There we go. Okay. So it looks like we're primarily taking a... Uh, a setup round here. Do I see collisions? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Don't want that. So I'm going to have to wait a bit. I'll just get my dash going now. And then from there, I can make my way into these trees. Just wanted to end my turn as much as I can. Or end my move within my turn. It just I think that helps me for planning a little bit more. And then the machine gun mech. Maybe we send some extra help over here. Get up top there. And right there, we're going to start slamming this guy. It doesn't look like I'm getting hit there. With the assault rifle. Maybe just a tad. But then I'm blocked. Man, this is this is a messy ass battlefield right now. Holy smokes. What about through there? Yep, that looks okay. I'm okay with that, I think. Okay, let's uh let her buck. Let's go half speed here, because we're gonna try and take some of this in. Here comes the beam. The tank's not really outputting a ton of damage. Oh, this guy might already go down. Holy smokes. Yeah, he just ate it. Big time, didn't he? So, okay. So these guys, interestingly, seem to have their own plan. <laughs> uh, I don't like this plan for them. So I'm going to start moving this guy. Try to save him a bit. I don't think he's going to have any attacks. Well... Okay. Let's fire off down there. He's in a precarious position. Let's be honest. So we oh we took out oh no we didn't we almost he's almost dead this crawler he's gonna try and drive up and then attack if I can finish him before that attack goes off I'd be quite happy we 
when is his attack going off? He's going off about here at 2.5 seconds. <laughs> now we're getting into some little crazy minutia. So we could maybe finish him from there. But then, like, I'm also tanking a bunch of this guy's stuff. You know what? Let's, let's do something else. If I dash... Uh... That's going to overheat me a bit, but that's probably better than all the rockets I'd be taking. I'm still taking a couple from there. But then... But then, I'm in a pretty decent position. To either... Finish this guy off, or put some damage in here. I think I'm going to go here. Just try to finish the tank. We'll see. Okay, so you need to finish your move. Oh, you're okay. You're gonna basically be finished. Then I still need to run in. I kind of want to run over here to block that shot. But then I'm not really getting damage out either. I think I'm going to go like this. And yes, we're going to have some scatter. But I'm going to be okay with that. Rifle mech. I think you just keep shooting. Okay, that's all we're going to do with you. Man, they're all over purple here. So now this is when I need to I need to take advantage of cover. Preferably in a spot where It looks like that would be blocked. Yeah, dotted line. Come here. And then you start attacking. Right there. Okay. What are you doing? So you're coming around here, then you're attacking. Down there. Do I need to be concerned here? Maybe... It doesn't look like it. And then this little dash to position. We're going to take some overheat damage and then finish off this walker, hopefully. To cover, purple! To cover! Oh my god, I just took a shitload of rockets to the face there. Okay, this guy is dead, of course. Okay, well, that sort of went as planned. We're backing him into a corner, just a little more boss, and we can get to those civilians. Okay. Okay. Gotta be a little delicate with this tank here. Little delicate. Okay, this guy's deceased. You love to see it. So who else is left? I got this dude running at Beamer. Uh, this guy. Who is pushing back and throwing those missiles again. And we took a ton of damage there. Um, so what I kind of want to do... <laughs> from about the point seven eight second mark, I'd like to be dashing to try and evade those missiles or maybe like through that I just yeah see that's going to overheat me so that's a concern for sure that guy's toast now this dude's moving in moving in moving in how big is he He's a medium. Guess what, bud? 
I am not a medium. I kind of just want to come to stand on him. It's going to be late though, right? That's the problem. He's going to take some shots. But while he's doing that, I can move, I can move purple back here. And then beam through as well. And then by the time we finish that beam, boom, then we crash onto him, right? Uh, I've got optimal range shots here. Blocked for now, blocked for now. Blocked, okay. Let's have you just move to about here and then we'll start taking shots so you don't overheat. That's fine for me. This I'm a bit concerned about though, not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe I can do this. Let's, um, let's pull you to here. Oh, you're blocked on that tiny hill. Are you kidding? Okay, I gotta be more. See, if I come there and start attacking, still blocked. Man, these little tanks. It's tough. It's tough tank life, you know? Let's do this. It's not optimal range, but it'll have to do. Okay, so you're coming over here. You seem like you're going to be in a good position. It's... You're going to run over and smash. I might actually get you to attack as well. Even with scatter. That's fine. You're the, the concern. Uh, this guy... He's got a missile launcher and shield. Uh... I don't know... I don't know if... I can dodge those. But I'm gonna try. Okay, so he's attacking at... Like 0.75-ish, like we talked about. Now, how big is he, too? He's bit. Yeah, he's a big boy. Thing is, I, I kind of want to keep my, my positioning in mind. It's not much I can do. I'm going to just try... Try dashing through this as much as I can. We are dashing through the 0.75, but I'm gonna overheat. Man, maybe it's better for me to just... I don't know. I don't know what's better for me. See, if I come... Hold on. Just doesn't seem like there's a lot of ways that I can kind of deal with his uh, his shooting. We're both kind of retreating a bit. But he sort of has the upper hand there. I'm going to keep... I'm going to do that dash, take a little bit of overheat, and just try to keep moving. My worry is this uh, left arm. I don't have a secondary weapon, so if that goes down, it's not the end of the world. Um, we're dashing there, then he starts attacking, and then I'm turning. my, But all of his attacks are coming in this area. Hmm. Well... This will be interesting to try and figure out. 
Let's see how this goes. Let's watch our guy here. He's getting slammed. Here come the missiles. There goes the left arm. Okay, so that, that positioning-wise did work. And now he's tanking a ton of damage here. He, it looks like his right arm is gone. So he's going to he's going to try to eject. He's going to try to eject. Uh this guy's crashing. We still have a hostile mech here. And then we have a tank. Okay. My unit is crashing. That's fine. This guy, he has no secondary weapon. Right? Yeah, he only has a shield now. So, worst case scenario, he tries to actually stomp my, uh, my guy, but he's coming over here. And then he's going to try to eject. Do we have enough to try and stop him? That's the thing. Like, his lower body is pretty weak. But I'm also blocked here, which is just an absolute disaster. And I'm crashing. So I think... I think when the tanks are crashing, they can't move the whole time. Whereas it seems like the mechs, they'll have like a bit of a, a bit of a timer. I got to be cautious that I'm not hitting my own tank though, right? So I'm going to take this time to run up here. It puts me a little bit closer than I'd like, but he's going to even eject before that, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's ejecting way earlier. Okay, so my only other option is this guy. Who's still attacking, thankfully. And I might be able to... Come up a little bit there. But even then, even by then, I think he's going to eject. And maybe I just say, like, fine, he's going to eject, right? Because if I'm not attacking him by two seconds, it's kind of useless. Okay, this guy lost his shield. Uh, I am actually very close to losing my right arm here, if I'm not careful. I think I'm just going to run over to that mech. How long is this guy crashing for? A while. And then he's going to recover and attack. Okay, I feel like that should work there. And then his attack's happening here. Let's just reset this for a sec. It's probably all I'm going to get. Maybe, just maybe. This is all blocked. Block, 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 block. Yeah, useless. Can you hit anything? Block, 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 block. Okay, maybe you just chill. All right. Yeah, he's gone.
This guy's firing into there, but not super concerned about that. Now he's going to try and go all the way around. This guy is crashing. The downside, well, if they eject, like, do I care about that? I don't know if I do. This guy, he's only running. So... I'd like to chase him. I can sort of start firing late. Okay. Yeah, so I imagine because this is technically called the right arm or the right side. Uh, and they're permanently crashed because they can't use their treads. Now these guys are super far. We're just going to kind of run in here. Look at how much that speed makes a difference. Let's see what happens. Ooh, who oh, you don't have any orders. Yeah, that's that's fine. You're attacking through there. Dashing, running, dashing, running, attacking, dashing, running, attacking. Oh, that started late. That was, that was weird. Come on, man. That scatter. Taking every fire, send word to command that we've lost units. And we're all just descending on this one dude. Okay, man, this is this is Sweatsville for sure. So now who's he attacking? I wonder. He's running right into my tank mech, and he's actually choosing to attack this guy of all guys. Maybe he reads that I'm going to be stuck in this attack pattern. There's not a whole lot I can do, except I can do. I can get right in his face. But this guy's also shooting, so I do have to be mindful of that. I do have to be mindful of that. And I'm also shooting here. I think, well, we have the, the left arm uh, gone. I'm hoping the right arm doesn't go gone. Okay. Let's dash. And then actually that seems okay. Beamer, I, my only concern is like as he runs, I'm going to start beaming my own guy. But I could just wait till this part when he stops moving. Yeah, he's toast. Yeah, see, right here. This is what I was worried about. Okay, well, we lost an arm. We gained a tank friend. Guys, he's dead. He's he's dead. He's dead. Um, I need to I need to figure out if it matters if the pilot ejects. I want to say there was something in the tutorial about that. Um.
Because, like, if you think about it, let's let's look through here, right? There were th three mechs and two tanks. So, hostile mech, aggressor. Aggressor, but not very many parts. Aggressor, destroyed. Destroyed. And a charger, hostile mech, intact. Okay. And I said two tanks, but um, one crawler, of course. So budget-wise, seems to be the same if they eject or not. Huh. I'm not sure. Either way, okay. So let's look at what we got here. Uh, machine gun mech. Oh, was this our guy that got his arm blown off? Looks like it. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, here's a handgun that might be decent as a secondary weapon. Here's a missile launcher. We want this, for sure. We want this. Also, this does show the supplies down here. The value of supplies. Another missile launcher. I think we'll take that. And then we've got some level 4 gear here. Level 4 assault rifle seems pretty nice. I don't want to fall too far behind in armor. Here's some light legs, though. Here's some light gear. I know I got some level 4 gear here, but I, I do want some light gear. I like this little setup here with the uh, cluster and the sniper rifle. It's kind of a cool idea that I might just steal. There's a light torso. Can't really afford this, can I? Okay. So I'm taking the MLS-8 Cluster. Guided missiles slow, but the numbers result in high power. And the ML-10. 10 short-range unguided missiles with moderate spread. Oh, okay. Guided versus unguided. So this, we basically have to wait until they stop moving. Effective at engaging groups of... Groups of targets and units behind cover, typically guided, except this one says it is not. Unguided. Okay, maybe I'll not take this. And I can take pick up some more of this light gear that I've been wanting. Well, not not a lot, unfortunately. Between the arrow and the Nox, this one's got barrier. The Nox... Ooh, this has way higher heat dissipation, though, which is ultimately what I want this for. So, we'll definitely take the Torso. 23.1 heat dissipation. And then we're looking at 4, 4.7, and 5.8. So, there. That's... That's what we'll do. Did I make sure to get anything here... This is, I guess, my arm. And maybe... Do I even need this now? It's a level 2 arm. Like, I could just say, forget it. Right? Don't even bring that back. And I can replace that with some light gear like this again. And then I'll dismantle the sniper rifle here. Instead of this. Because 38 supplies versus the 33 of the light arm. Okay, I'm committed. All right. Now, we're still in Sweatsville here. Like, we got problems all over the place. I don't know if it's wise for me to go into these heated battle sites um, consistently. You know, like, it might be wise here to, say, go for some of these main objectives. I also have this patrol, this patrol, like it's just saucy out here. Because if these keep popping up, there's no way we can keep up with taking them all down, right? And then our objectives still remain. I'm gonna, let's do, use this as an experiment, okay? ALP 46, we'll keep an eye on this, see what happens. This is our home guard strength, which in theory is gonna drop. 
Supporting the home guard with strikes against key objectives and helping them at battle sites will lead us to victory. Letting this value fall to zero will trigger a, uh, a retreat, letting the enemy hold the province. The strength of the invasion forces here strike key objectives to make this value drop. When this value reaches zero, the enemy will retreat and the province will be liberated. All right, so let's see. Let's go here. What is this? Liberate this facility to unlock local effects. Repairs. Consume less liquid fix and repairs progress faster. Oh, I gotta see what this is. Okay, we have patrols coming. I might be in... There's two patrols. Holy smokes. This will be interesting. Okay, so we made it to the farm, it looks like. There's near... Oh, wow. Nearby contacts. Look at this. Look at this. So, very interesting. At your order, the base flies into action and prepares for a fight. An engineer sprints toward the bay to check on the guns, passing a scout relay and combat data through the radio. Radio. There is shouting everywhere. At your side, everyone or someone's leg bounces up and down. Boot heel tapping on the grate. You feel eyes on you. Yo. How come I don't have... Um... What? Why can I only take three? Well, how come I can't take uh, more people here? Tank mech, rifle mech, beamer. Can be accomplished with two to three units. Coming from nearby patrols aware of our position, which we saw. Oh, maybe it's because this guy needs an arm. Is that all? I just want to see if that makes it so that I can take him out. What the heck? Did I somehow, like, lose a, a slot or something? That's weird. It even says four on four here. No secondary. Repairs are recommended before fielding the unit. Okay, so maybe they're below a threshold. Is it the machine gun mech that's missing? Not even. It's just I'm limited to three slots here for some reason, and I don't know what that is. Okay, well, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just a limitation of this, um, of this mission type? So we'll try it. Could be sweaty if those reinforcements come. Uh, looks like we've got maybe these are the reinforcements coming in back there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll kit us up and get that all set up and give you a quick overview in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.